Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Aran. So this is the first video we're going to watch now on YouTube and on the on the app you're going to watch this video. So my HOD used to say that, you know, before being a doctor, you should be a good human being. Before being a doctor, you should be a good human being. And now in your full residency program, I'm there. All the videos are really very important and they have been made with a lot of immense hard work and love. So watch them the way you watch like a Netflix movie. Relax, sit, put your earphones and just sit and in your night duty, watch my videos. That's it. And I hope you're going to enjoy the whole journey. Enjoy the whole show. We'll stay connected in every video. And please watch this video. And thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. So this is our conceptual pediatrics. The first topic of choice we're going to talk about is neonatology. Before starting any segment, the one thing I want to say is that uh, watch and enjoy every lecture very beautifully. Put your full heart and soul. Every single video has been made with a lot of immense love and dedication. So make sure you watch all the videos, take your time and every video has been made of 20 to 30 minutes duration so that it is easy for you to follow and do the videos properly. So today's topic of choice we're going to talk about is neonatology. This is the chapter number one. Before starting any segment, we always have a quote. But what we're going to talk about in this chapter, every chapter, once I'll be taking the classes, every chapter, I'll be telling you the outline that what all we are talking. And in the end, we're going to have a revision. So what are we talking in this chapter? Number one, we are talking about the important points regarding care during pregnancy. Very important topic regarding the antenatal screening for Down syndrome, uh, trimester wise, which is very important for exam purpose and also for theory paper and the common obstetric illnesses and their effect on the fetus and neonate. Before starting any segment, we always have a quote and quote for today is this. This young fellow, he says that I have a lot of time, a lot of time. I have a lot of energy, but no money. Whereas this adult says, I have money, I have energy, but there is no time. Whereas the old fellow says, I have a lot of time, I have a lot of money, but there is no energy. So what is the morale of the story? The morale of the story is this is life. This is you. This is us. So the morale of the story is balance is the key. Balance. You make your life, live your life with a balance. A balance of time, a balance of money and a balance of energy. So don't get carried away what people say. Don't get carried away by anything else in the world. Just do what you feel is right and make your friends, make your parents proud. Today's topic of choice, the first question we have over here is the first basic questions that what are the number of antenatal visits should be there whenever a mother comes to the uh, gynecologist. So how many number of antenatal visits are mandatory? So remember, the first visit will be in the first 12 weeks. So first 12 weeks will be the first visit. After that, the, the lady is going to come to the gynecologist at 20 weeks, 26, 30, 34, 36, 38 and at the at 40 weeks of gestation. Please note in every video, I'll be telling you if this is an exam question, I'll tell you this is an exam question. Remember, if it is a theory topic, which we ask to the MD, DNB, DCH, all the students, you know, or all the diploma students, I'll tell you this is the theory question. So chill out. So this question is not a theory paper. In general, you should know that a mother comes to us at 12 weeks of gestation and then she comes these consecutive weeks 20 26 30 34 36 38 and 40 according to the very importantly nice guidelines so these chapters are from the aims protocol which are extremely uh, you know kind of standards so the first question first chapter first paragraph they have asked this that uh, according to the nice guidelines uh, how many antenatal visits are important for a mother to come to show to have her checkup so na uh, uh, nice guidelines is nothing but national institute of health care and excellence this also can, could be a very basic word, you know, full forms. What is NICE stand for? It is a National Institute of Healthcare and Excellence. Whatever you're reading, whatever you're watching my video, please tell yourself you're watching it for the first and last time. You're reading this for the first and last time. So put your full heart and soul in, into it. So if I ask you a question, what is the full form of NICE? The answer is National Institute of Healthcare and Excellence. Same if I ask you a question, what is the full form of IMNCI? So IMNCI guidelines are like a hot topic always it is there for UG, PG, DNB and MD and DM exams. So we all know that the full form of IMNCI is nothing but integrated management, integrated management of neonatal and childhood illnesses. 
इंटीग्रेटेड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ न्योनेटल एंड चाइल्डहुड इलनेसेस इज नथिंग बट वॉट यू कॉल द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ द नाइस गाइडलाइंस इंटीग्रेटेड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ न्योनेटल एंड चाइल्डहुड इलनेसेस सो इन दिस क्लास बैक टू बैक टू इंपॉर्टेंट फुल फॉर्म आई गॉट इट आई एम एन सी आई इज नथिंग बट इंटीग्रेटेड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ न्योनेटल एंड चाइल्डहुड इलनेसेस एंड नाइस गाइडलाइंस और नाइस इज नथिंग बट नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हेल्थ केयर एंड एक्सेलेंस हेयर ओनली येस्टडे ओनली वन माई एच ओ डी हेड आस मी दिस क्वेश्चन नीव हैव यू सेंड अ नीव सैंपल ऑफ दिस पेशेंट एवरी न्यू बॉर्न बेबी दिस इज वेरी अगेन अ वेरी हॉट टॉपिक नीव सैंपल नीव कुड बी ऑटोमेटिक अ डेडिकेटेड एम सी क्यू एंड ऑल्सो अ थियोरी पेपर क्वेश्चन सो इट इज न्यूनेटल अर्ली इवेल्युएशन ऑफ विजन न्यूनेटल इट्स अ न्यू बॉर्न बेबी सैंपल सो न्यूनेटल अर्ली इवेल्युएशन ऑफ विजन सो न्यूनेटल अर्ली इवेल्युएशन ऑफ विजन That is nothing but new guidelines or new basically where you send the blood sample of a newborn baby to rule out all the other inborn errors of metabolism and all the things. So new sample like um, even my SRs also don't know. So we need to you know you need to if I ask you what is new, uh, sir new like that no we will not do like that. Sir new is uh, new natal early evaluation of vision. So new full form I got it. I M N C I I got it and uh, very importantly nice guidelines National Institute of Care and Excellence. I've got it. According to the nice guidelines, my dear friends and my dear family, uh, remember a simple, simple mnemonic: ten plus seven. A simple mnemonic of ten plus seven is something I I will remember. If the mother, very importantly, if she's a nulli paras woman, total antenatal visits she has to do is ten, and if she's a multi para, seven visits. So ten plus seven, ten plus seven is the take home message. Must appreciate for the exam purpose. According to the nice guidelines, ten plus seven. If you are a nulli para. 10 times you have to come to in the whole pregnancy if you are multi para at least minimum 7 times you have to come in the whole pregnancy this is the important point this is again a very beautiful topic which this year also question had come how do you screen for down syndrome how do you screen because the, the topic is antenatal screening so antenatal screening when important syndrome has to be ruled out that is nothing but down syndrome if the mother is pregnant and she are expecting a delivery and she is asking a doctor doctor is my baby having down syndrome? syndrome my fetus basically is he suffering from down syndrome so doctor will do some investigations now these investigation very very important it depends whether he is doing in the first trimester or he is doing in the second trimester this is the exam question the screening for antenatal screening for down syndrome it all depends whether the mother is in the first trimester or second trimester if the mother is in the first trimester my dear friends you do something known as dual marker whereas if the mother is in the second trimester you will do something known as trip triple scan or something known as quadruple scan triple scan and quadruple scan very very importantly must appreciate for example but these are the exam question dual marker for down syndrome triple marker quadruple marker simple simple but very important so what is dual marker in the dual marker you send to samples beta hcg and papa beta hcg and papa are the investigations available for the dual marker for the first trimester antenatal screening for down syndrome okay papa now what is papa papa is nothing but pregnancy associated plasma protein a pregnancy associated plasma protein a is nothing but very importantly the full form of the papa pregnancy associated plasma protein a okay let's quickly revise so what are the investigations important for the antenatal screening for down syndrome number 1 if the mother is in the first trimester we will do dual marker basically we are sending the beta hcg sample and we are sending the we are sending the papa sample pregnancy associated plasma protein a and at the same time ultrasound ultrasonographically one very very important point we going to understand is a knuckle thickness of the fetus of the baby during the pregnancy in the ultrasound you will see knuckle thickness of the baby if it is more than 3 mm it is significant for the down syndrome star mark exam question okay knuckle thickness if it is more than 3 mm that's an exam question knuckle thickness is the posterior knuckle fold this one not this knuckle not these knuckles this knuckle basically so if the knuckle thickness is more than 3 mm you will think it is significant for the down syndrome so first trimester over do marker over investigations over everything over okay let's quickly go through so in the first semester antenatal screening for down syndrome this slide plays a very important role where i'm sending the beta biochemical markers basically that is nothing but beta hcg and papa if you are sending them alone then the detection detection rate for the down syndrome is 70% but at 
एट द सेम टाइम विद ऑल दिस यू आर ऑल्सो चेकिंग द अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफिकली लाइक इफ यू हैव द ऑप्शन ऑफ अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफिकली नकल थिकनेस इफ यू चेक देन द डिटेक्शन रेट इज एटी टू एटी थ्री परसेंट बट इफ यू हैव बोथ कंबाइन टेस्ट वे आर यूर डूइंग द डुअल मार्कर्स ऑल्सो एंड यूर डूइंग द अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफिकल थिंग्स ऑल्सो देन ऑब्वियसली द डिटेक्शन रेट फॉर द डाउन सिंड्रोम बिकम्स एटी टू एटी सेवन परसेंट let's important do mcqs in the first trimester screening for down syndrome which of the following test is to be done so the first trimester screening for down syndrome the test to be done we all know that so the answer is beta hcg and papa so whenever you see an mcq in my picture in my video my full slides are full of images videos and mcqs so i really request everyone whenever i post whenever i put a mcq just quickly pause it or if you can quickly answer it before me answering that would be best okay so beta SCG and PAPA are the best answers. What is PAPA? PAPA is pregnancy associated plasma protein A and that will be reduced. Okay. Perfect answer. So, knuckle thickness, I have told you, knuckle thickness more than 3 millimeter is something which is significant for Down syndrome. And what is knuckle thickness? Knuckle thickness is nothing but the fluid collection. This we will study in radiology also. Fluid collection in the, that forms the posterior part of the fetal neck. During the early development, the posterior part of the fetal neck, there are the fluid collection is there that is known as a uh, knuckle you know knuckle thickness which is significant for the down syndrome this patient beautiful you know imaging picture where you can appreciate a normal fetus with the normal knuckle thickness and in this picture we have a fetus with down syndrome where the knuckle thickness has increased so this could be a viva question also if the examiner ask you what is what knuckle thickness a lot of wonderful students say that this this knuckle thickness then examiner says very good very good come after 6 months okay then he feel the student knuckle thickness is nothing but the fluid collection that forms the posterior part it forms the posterior part of the fetal neck during the early development that you should know perfect the yes this part is done beautiful this also is an mcq this is a very important mcq also if you can tell me very quickly for the prenatal diagnosis of down syndrome all are true except what is what is not true what is not true regarding the prenatal diagnosis for down syndrome number 1 okay can i say a uh, vsd may be a finding so in general remember my dear friends in general the most common congenital heart and down syndrome is endocardial cushion defect that is one important pointer must know and vsd may be a finding in sub cases we can see there is a increase umbilical blood flow yes whenever there is a fetal compromise there is always a increase umbilical blood flow and yes you do see a reduced femur to humerus length these are the very cardinal features you know you must know okay reduce femur to humerus length increase umbilical blood flow and vsd may be a finding but what is not a finding what is not true all are true except the thing which is not true is knuckle thickness more than 2.5 mm because more than 3 mm we take a cut off for the significance for the down syndrome number 1 number 2 very very importantly remember uh yeah more than 3 mm knuckle thickness if the if the pregnancy is at 11 to 14 weeks of gestation and double of that if the pregnancy is at the 15 to 20 weeks of gestation so this also you should know 11 to 14 and 15 to 20 so 3 mm and 6 mm so this is extra pointer must appreciate for exam purpose that knuckle thickness more than 6 mm at 15 to 20 weeks so more than 3 mm at 11 to 14 weeks so roughly roughly you know yeah 11 to 14 and 15 to 20 that's it so this might see we all are one family okay you me we all so whatever you are reading you are reading for the first and last time don't think that abhi just like that i'll watch this video and again i'll watch it again you will not have time so please you are watching this for the first and last time please remember that okay perfect yeah now in the second trimester now the mother is pregnant she has her baby she thinks her baby is suffering from down syndrome and she is in the second trimester so just now we spoke about it we'll do something known as triple scan and quadruple scan so triple scan and quadruple scan is something which is done if the mother is in the second trimester screening for the down syndrome now what is triple scan so this triple scan is very very easy the samples we take is nothing but beta hcg we have alpha fetal protein and we take un conjugated estriol so these three levels are something which we do in the triple scan for the down syndrome 
beta hcg we have alpha fetoprotein and we have unconjugated estriol these three levels these three investigations are done in the triple marker scan in the quadruple marker scan all these three investigations are done but which is the fourth investigation which is done that is an exam question we do something known as inhibin a inhibin a the sample of inhibin a we take actually in the quadruple screening for the down syndrome okay so this is important this is important for exam purpose thousand times they have asked in the paper so you must know now this beautiful picture has been incorporated over here we have the full quadruple scan we have beta hcg we have alpha fetoprotein estriol inhibin a everything is there now this is the exam question in which syndrome these findings increases and in which syndrome these findings decreases let me show you a better picture i think yeah this is a little brighter picture fine so remember one thing my dear beta hcg alpha fetoprotein estriol and inhibin a i hope you have loved the video you have watched the video any doubt if you have you can put that in the comment section i'm always there with every video the whole journey of pediatrics we're gonna you know make it together and everything will make sense by the end of the journey i hope you have liked the video any query any doubt you are feel free to ask in the comment section and see you soon in the next video so please take care and thank you